and welcome to another video from Colour with Claire. Today I'm going to be showing you chameleon colour tops. Now these are an accessory to the chameleon pens which you've probably heard of by now. They've been out on the market for a couple of years and I know that an awful lot of you have tried these and you have them in your uh, colouring stash. But the colour tops are not to be used on their own, so there's nothing you can do with these uh, as they are. You need to own some chameleon pens, or at least one chameleon pen anyway, to be able to use the colour tops. Now chameleon pens come in 50 different colours at the moment, and chameleon colour tops come in those same 50. So 50 colours in the chameleon colour tops, 50 colours in the colour tones, and with those you can combine and create 1225 combos according to chameleon so the color combinations are really you know extensive now what do they do now if you haven't heard of chameleons i'll just explain them a little bit quite quickly chameleons are pens which can blend themselves so i'll get one out to show you because it's a bit easier for me to explain when i'm actually showing you what they do so this one here they're quite long pens by the way this one is called Peony Pink and it has the code PV PK4. Now the chameleon pen is made up of some different elements. So we have this part here, which is the blending chamber and this contains all blending fluid. It's all clear, colorless blending fluid. Now this part here is your nibs and your color. So we have the smaller precise bullet nib on one end and we have the thicker brush nib on the other end and obviously in that chamber in the middle is your colour which in this case is the peony pink and what you do is you take your preferred end and you get your colourless blending chamber and holding it vertically with the blending chamber on top very important you touch the uh, tip of the brush pen to the tip of the blending chamber uh, bullet nib. It's hard to show you because you're supposed to keep it vertical but th those two tips in there are touching. And then depending on the amount of time that you leave them touched together, the longer blend you'll achieve. So I would say that that's been touching now for about 10 seconds at, at least. So straight away you can see no colour comes out at all because we're still on the blending fluid. But as you go along, you're able to create a very seamless blend into the original colour, which is the peony pink. So that means that you can colour, for instance, leaves. If you're doing green leaves, you can colour them from a very dark, deep green up to nothing, up to white. And it just creates that beautiful blend that you don't need to spend too much time and skill doing yourself. Now I have reviewed the Chameleon pens um, a couple of years ago I think now on the blog and even though I liked them I did find them a bit tricky to get my head round and to be honest I preferred using three or four different markers to get the same effects. It was just uh, a lot more um, a lot quicker and a lot less time consuming and having to hold the chamber and things like that So they haven't been one of my favorite art supplies by any means Even though I can see that they definitely have a place in the coloring world for people who might not um, be um, Confident enough to maybe do seamless blends with different markers and things like that. So they do have their place However, when I discovered these chameleon color tops, that is when my opinion has completely turned around and I absolutely love the addition of these colour tops and I think they're incredible and I'm going to be showing you exactly why. So you have your chameleon colour tones. The pens I've got here is the floral tone set and then you have the colour tops. Now these come in sets of five so you can build up your sets. If you notice on here on the side they've got these little ridges and that is where they actually connect to the other packs of colour tops. So you can buy these individually in boxes of five and build up your collection with the exact colours you want. So just imagine you wanted um, a skin tone set only. You would buy the skin tones colours of the colour tops and really you'd only need one chameleon pen, um, you know, if you're being basic, just to do the whole thing. So I'm going to show you exactly what they do. You open them up and the chameleon colour top looks exactly like that blending chamber part from the original pen. It's slightly bigger, but that's only because it has a stopper on the end. So it looks exactly the same 
as your blending chamber from your uh, original chameleon pen. The only difference is it doesn't have clear colourless blending solution inside, it has the actual colour, the pigment of a chameleon pen. So that means that you could take your peony pink and put the brush nib against this aquamarine uh, bullet in the chamber and you're going to get a seamless blend from green to pink. Let's check that out. So, whoops, going to get the peony pink out again. Going to take my aquamarine colour top and again vertically, just touching those two tips together, I'm going to leave it for approximately five seconds. Now remember this should be peony pink, but it's actually coming out pure aquamarine and then as we go along we're getting lighter and lighter until we get that completely saturated pink back. So you can see how you can actually go from one side of the colour wheel to another in one pen. Now the aquamarine and the pink really nice together it might not be the most perfect blend <clears throat> because you sometimes have lines that come across here when you're colouring but that depends on how long you've left it on the colouring chamber for so the smoother the blend that you want the longer you should leave it but of course we're doing colouring books so we do have small kind of intricate little details now I wouldn't recommend these for too much of an intricate page but you can still do things like leaves and flower petals. You just have to leave this on for a really, really short time. Even just two seconds will do for some flower petals. Now, it's not just one colour top to one pen. You can actually use all five of these colour tops with a chameleon pen to create one long blend made of six colours. Now, I'm going to be demonstrating that for you now. So we'll stick with our peony pink. And we're going to do all of these five colour tops in order. So, first of all, we're going to stick VO4 on top. And then we're going to go with the next purple, which is the PR4. Then I think I'm going to go with the uh, light sky blue. And then the darker blue. And then, finally, the aquamarine. So let's see how we're going to do this. I'm going to stick them on for five seconds each and we'll see if we can get a good colour transition. So that's purely back to peony pink now. Oh, take the lid off, <laughs> might help. Sticking that peony pink right up against this VO4, two, three, four, five. We're then going to put the purple grape for five seconds, two, three, four, five. Then the sky blue, which I'm going to leave on for a little bit longer because it's a lighter colour. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just to make sure we've got that light colour in there. And then the blue violet. Take the lid off again. <laughs> Keep forgetting to do that. Two, three, four, five. They all fall down. And finally, the aquamarine. Two, three, four, five. So let's see if we've got this six colour transition. So we should be starting off with the aquamarine going into the blue violet then we have the uh, pinkish purple which I believe is the PR4 the purple grape and the deep violet and finally coming back to that peony pink now even though I did leave the sky blue on for double the amount of time for 10 seconds it's not actually shown up too well in this swatch so let's see if we just put the sky blue up to the peony pink just by themselves so that we can see how a very light blue can transition to a light pink as we've not been able to see it here. And to be fair, we do have a lot of very, very deep dark colours in this blend. So the sky blue didn't really have a lot of chance to shine in there. So I've left it on there. Here we are. There's the beautiful sky blue. 
graduating down to a lilac colour, a dusky pink, and then finally that peony pink that we started with. So you can see, even with the lack of the sky blue, we've still got very clearly the aquamarine, the dark blue, and the two violets before we get to the pink. Now, of course, there's all different colors you can do this with. If you have the full set of chameleon pens, then you can just buy one set of color tops and you're gonna have loads and loads of different combos to use. But if you get all the sets of color tops, get all 50 and all 50 of the chameleon pens, as I mentioned earlier, 1,225 different color combos. So you can see just from my demonstration that you can either go with the pens on their own from nothing, from the white of the paper, down into one solid colour or you can go from plenty of different colours so I mean it, it, it's up to you how many you actually add on the pen you, I suppose you could just keep going and going but for my demonstration I only have these five colour pens and the five colour tops that I have here so I'm sure that you could keep going and going and have a huge long blend of all different colours be great for a sunset for example um, but yes if you're one of these people who find it difficult to blend alcohol markers not really sure where to start and you want something that's going to do all the work for you then definitely chameleon pens and definitely definitely the colour tops I absolutely love them I think that they're a brilliant addition to the original marker line uh, something that I wasn't too fussed with and I'm now really excited about to get the rest of the colour tops so what I'm going to do now is it's easy to demonstrate on a piece of paper but I'm sure you want to see me doing all of these different colours on an actual illustration. So I'm going to crack out my Hannah Lynn colouring book and we're going to see how we can colour using only these chameleons and these colour tops here. Okay, so we're starting off with her hair. I've decided to stick with the peony pink and then add the colour top to it in the colour purple grape because I think purple and pink make a really nice transition and it's gorgeous hair colour. So with each individual section, I've tackled them each on their own and I've decided to make the highlight colour, the peony pink, in the centre of each section. And how I did that was to put the purple grape down, transitioning into the peony pink and then leave it at the middle and come in on the other side of the hair, so the ends of the hair, with exactly the same thing so that the peony pink meets itself in the middle. So you've got the two darker colours at either end of the hair and then the peony pink in the middle for a shiny sort of look. Now on the wings I've decided to use the lavender colour top uh, colour tone pen and the sky blue colour top. I think it's a really nice combination. It looks really ethereal and very fairy like. And I'm just doing them bit by bit, section by section, um, leaving them on for one or two seconds at a time because there are some very small little areas here that you don't need much of a transition whatsoever. So if I've started with purple on one end of a section, I'll make sure that I start with blue on the end of the next section so that they're not kind of touching together, so there's no purple bits together, as far as I could anyway. Now on the little skirt here, I decided to go with that aquamarine and peony pink um, combination that we did in the demonstration, because I really like how you can go from a super dark colour to a very, very light and delicate one. And I just think it looks really nice together that you can get that transition and that center sort of blended area and it's not just green and then pink you've got that transition so for the little leaves I was leaving this on for about two seconds three seconds you don't need a lot of time whatsoever for the smaller parts now I decided to take the which color was it the dusty rose the pk2 and without adding any colour tops to it whatsoever, I just did a transition from Dusky Rose to the white for the underskirt, just to give a little bit of interest to the page. I'm now using the lavender colour, the BV2, to colour in the thimble that she sat on. Again, just using the colour chamber that comes with the original pens to go from white to solid colour. Now I've got this peony pink again, that's the lightest pink that I've got. And I'm trying to do some semblance of skin tone. Now, obviously, if this was a usual project, I'd be using quite a few different colours of alcohol marker to get this skin tone. But I decided just to use the blending chamber um, and try and get the white in the right places going up to the dark bits under her hair and on her cheek, which was quite difficult. And I did have to come in with one of my colourless blender pens 
just to touch up um, little bits that I'd messed up and put too much pink on. So you do, it is a bit of a, a bit of a learning curve to use these pens for sure. Just dotting some white gel pen on the eyes there and then using a couple of the green and purples together for the flowers in her hair. Then decided to solidly colour her tights with the fuchsia colour and then fill it in with that dusky rose. Then just doing a few little bits of additions and there we are done. Okay, so there she is, our beautiful little Tinkerbell fairy from the colouring book Fairy Tale Princesses and Storybook Darlings by Hannah Lynn. Now, as you can see, I've gone on there with my white gel pen because I'm a little bit obsessed with the gel pen dots as you should know by now. Uh, and I've just added in a few little dots on the wings and on the hair uh, just to make her a little bit more twinkly. And I've also gone in with stickles here on the fairy dust and on the little stars that surround her just to add a bit more of that sparkle because fairies should always be very glittery and sparkly. And the stickles that I used is the crystal just in case you're wondering. So yes, chameleon colour pens and chameleon colour tops. Now, as brilliant as they are, uh, I think they're fantastic. I love that they've added the colour tops to the range. They really, really take chameleon pens to the next level. Uh, there are some cons to these pens, and um, I think the main one is going to be the price. So they are really, really expensive, the colour pens. Um, if you wanted to get the whole set of 50, I know that it's well over £100 for the colour pens, which is a lot. Um, and it is not in everybody's range, I really understand that. The colour tops, however, are probably a little bit more affordable, so you can get a set of five for around about £10. So if you already have your chameleon colour pens and you just want to buy the tops, you can do it bit by bit, set by set, and it's only going to cost you around about £10 each time, which I think is really reasonable. Now, if you don't have the chameleon pens, you don't have to buy all 50 in one go. You can get them in these packs of five, and they're about £20. So the pens are more expensive than the colour tops, as you probably imagine, but it can be done bit by bit. Another thing that I don't really like about them is the nibs of these pens. So I've noticed that they're not very not very long lasting before they start to fray. Now there is one that I've got in here, it might be that peony pink actually, that started to fray already quite a bit. Difficult to show you in too much uh, focus here but it has started to fray and I've only used it for this page and the purposes of the demonstration. Um, now Chameleon do give you a little set of extra brush nibs for you to change out. Uh, they only give you two with the pack of five um, and they do sell these separately on their website so you can actually get as many brush nibs as you want to replace. I just wish that you didn't need to replace them so quickly. Um, for example, if you've got Copic pens, you can replace the nib on those, but they do stand up to the test of time. They do last a lot, lot longer. Whereas these, I think it's with them being pointed, they just seem to fray a lot, lot quicker. And of course, you're holding them against a bullet nib, so it's going to have that bit of abrasion there, which isn't going to help. So the two things that sort of turn me off about chameleon pens is the price and also those nibs. If they could get the nibs perfect, I probably wouldn't mind too much paying the price for them. You can also refill the pens and the colour tops just in case you're wondering. So these aren't a one-time purchase. You can change up the nibs, you can change all of your inks when they run out. So I suppose all in all, they're actually really, really good and I'm gonna give them another chance, I think, after um, sort of putting them to one side a few years ago. So I really, really hope that you've enjoyed looking at these chameleon colour tops. It really was just to show you this particular accessory as I think we've all seen the chameleon pens plenty of times. Now I know that these have been out for ages, but this is the first time I've used them, so I'm really, really impressed. And if you wanna have a look at all the different sets you can get your hands on, just check the description for a link over to Amazon and see all of the different kinds that you can get. Please do let me know in the comments again what you think of these pens, what you think of the color tops, and what you think of my finished piece. If you did enjoy this video, please click the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to my my channel for more content if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon on Colour with Claire.